when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. We can all say with confidence that Jesus is the rock of life and he is our God in whom we trust. God bless you, Gifted Church Podcast listener. We believe that your elevation will come through your ear gate because faith that elevates comes by hearing the word of God. With an open heart and in a mood of expectancy, let's get into the word with Pastor Kwame. Praise be to God, we give God the glory. I want to officially welcome you to the month of February. I think some will call it the month of love, but whatever it is, I call it the month of your destiny. Amen. I'm going to believe God will share with you some critical things that pertain to your destiny and your life and your dream and your purposes. Amen. Father, we thank you. We will receive this month that you've made and we say that you are in charge from the beginning of this month to the end of this month. May your name be glorified from the beginning of this month to the end of this month. May your name be hallowed from the beginning of this month to the end of this month. May our our life be made whole. May blessings and prosperity mark our days may favor go before us i hear the lord says goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the lord oh jesus our friend foundation oh jesus a friend that stick a closer than the brother. Oh, Jesus, our soon coming King. Oh, Jesus, the lover of our soul. Oh, Jesus, the captain of Israel's host. Oh, we love you, Lord. We give you glory and worship in this place. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I greet you in the invincible name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the month the Lord has made and we are happy. We are happy. We are happy. Amen, amen. It's a delight. It's an honor to share the word of God with you. Amen. Um, in February, I want to focus on some big, big themes of your life because the year is going now. January is finished and February is here. So we want to begin to approach uh, this year head on and, and talk about big things. So I want to talk to you from a subject matter, which is very important. These are key critical things and I'm going to really get closer and talk about them. In the book of Genesis chapter 20, uh, sorry, 37, the division number eight, Genesis 37, eight, the scripture says, and they hated him all the more because of his dreams and the way he talked about them. And they hated him all the more because of his dreams and the way he talked about them. I want, I want to discuss a subject with you which is write the soundtrack of your dream write the soundtrack of your dream amen write the soundtrack of your dream i want to um i want to uh talk about the life of the man joseph the life of joseph is very important on three levels the first level is because the life of Joseph is a picture of the life of Jesus Christ. Uh, So it's a messianic um, prophecy, which we call shadows. And secondly, the life of Joseph is also a life of a dreamer. Any person that has a dream uh, can relate to Joseph because it's a life of a dreamer. The third dimension of truth is that the life of Joseph is the life of how your dream come to pass it gives you a template of a journey of how a person dreams comes to pass so when i look at the life of joseph i look at people that have dreams people that are going to do big things in their life i look at that and I, it tells you that nobody can have a dream come to pass without a process and a journey and so it comes with that that if you have a dream there's going to be a journey that will bring you to your dream so i want to just kind of use that as the backdrop and deal with the subject write the soundtrack of your dream interestingly in the verse uh, 8 the scripture says that the brothers hated him the more Uh, they hated him primarily because one the father loved him and secondly because um he was telling them about dreams and lastly not only was he turned about dreams, but the way he would talk about the dreams. And the word talk about them is called a soundtrack. Uh, so it's not it's not enough that you dream, but you have to be able to promote it, talk about it, put a soundtrack to it. Make sure that your lips and your dreams are in sync. And that's a little bit what I want to talk about, but I want to kind of um, take a, a kind of a 
a broader view on the whole thing so you can begin to position yourself for what god is going to do this year all right so the first thing i would say is that um nobody will receive their dream express none of us will receive our dream if it's a god-given dream it will not be delivered to your hands express it will go through a process it will take time for the dream to manifest but the beauty of it is that your life will begin with the picture of where you are going it's fascinating that joseph before even he was hated god spoke to him about how his future is going to be and that means that in this particular template, it begins with a promise. It begins with a picture of your future. And that is what God has sent me to tell you that your picture reads like this. I know a thought I have for you, not of evil, to bring you to a perfect ending. So the picture we look at is that all dreamers will first see the vision and it tells me that you have to have a picture of your future if you are going to be qualified as a dreamer first thing you need a picture which is a god-given picture that shows how your children are going to look not look as in physically but that shows your future that shows your family that shows your career that shows your ministry that shows your ending I want to push you to understand that you have to have a clear picture of where your ending is going to be. You have to have a clear picture of how your marriage is going to look like. You have to have a vision, a dream. If you don't have a dream, your life will not change. Without a, without a dream, your life will not change. So the first thing before we talk about the soundtrack of your dream, you have to have a clear dream of how your future is going to be. A God-given dream that shows how your end is going to be is extremely important. Amen. And so with that said, though, I don't want to talk about your dream. I want to talk about the soundtrack of it. Let me tell you, your dream is in your heart. Your, your dream is your prayer topic. I can tell that you have a dream. You have a desire for something to change in your life. You have a desire to end better. You have this inclination and you have this push that you will end well. You want to break forth. You want to succeed. You want to end where you have in mind. And that is powerful. You need that, but you have to say it i've had different pastors talk about joseph was not supposed to say it but i'm telling you if you don't have a soundtrack of your dream you don't have a dream yet you need to say it. you need to declare your dream you need to have a soundtrack of your dream and so he says uh, uh, he talked about the dream but he also the way he talked about it amen the way he talked about it and i don't know how you are talking about your future i don't know how you are talking about your dream i don't know how you're talking about what you want to accomplish but the way you talk about it is as important as the dream itself and um i want to talk to you about it because we all have to grow up into that space if you are like me you don't like talking about your dreams not because uh you don't want to talk about it but because you think it's arrogant let me tell you this uh i have come to realize that trying not to be yourself so that people will feel comfortable about you is not a good thing nobody succeed by hiding their their lips from succeeding do you understand have you seen a boxer who is going to the ring and say okay i don't know how it's gonna happen but I'm, I, I may lose i don't know no they all speak as if they've won the battle even before the battle and it's extremely important that you talk like that that's really where i'm going with this you have to speak your dream i saw myself joseph says that all of you are bowing before me and that was the dream but he didn't stop there he kept talking about it 
So it means that I'm good. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm going to be a leader. I'm going to be a king. That's, that was annoying the life out of the brothers. But you got to talk about it. You got to talk about it. If you're going to be a great person, you have to talk about it. And I'm saying that the, this is the only part that I think the non-Christians, they do better. Because with us, we think if we don't talk about the great things you're going to do, it means you're a humble person. You know, but every hip-hop artist, I, every person who wants to do something great, they, 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 they are arrogantly talking about it before it happens. They are, they are putting a soundtrack to it. Amen. So it is very important that your your lips confess the beauty. I, I'm going to have my twins. <laughs> uh, there's a lady on this platform. I'm not going to say her name, but she she talked about her soundtrack, and it happened. Uh, uh, so 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 when you talk about it, it will happen. When you voice it, it will happen. But when you have the dream in your heart and you are afraid to talk about it, you are afraid to. To, to kind of brag and let me give you the trick just brag brag about it you understand and when you brag and you get everybody's attention then you say in jesus name it will happen then they all shut up because they look at you to judge you that why are you so arrogant why do you think you're all that what do you think you're going to become and all of that right when you say all of that and you get church people's attention before they judge you then you slay you slide in all happened in Jesus' name and they will zip it because now they know that you know Jesus is the only one that will make it happen, but still you have a soundtrack. Amen. So I want you to talk about it. That is the first thing. If 2020 is going to give birth to your dream, you got to talk about it. You have to brag about it. You have to say, I am going to be the best in this industry. I am, my name will be on the billboard. Uh, and you don't add Jesus yet until you get people's attention. Okay. So I'm going to be on the billboard. I am going to get married to the greatest person. I am going to start my NGO. I am going to bless people with my ministry. I am going to be the first person to be signed. You know, this voice. That voice, that voice is what I'm talking about. I'm going to start my own clinic. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. Uh, uh, oh God, help me. You talk about it. I'm going to, uh, uh, sometimes you feel it. I'm speaking to dreamers here. Sometimes you feel, you feel that thing that you're going to be somebody significant in life. You can sense that it, it, it comes like a deja vu. Like it's like a flash, you, you, a glimpse of it that you're going to be somebody important and, and talk about it. Talk about it. Say that. And then when people look at you funny, you just say, but in Jesus name, it will happen. Amen. So uh, that's what I really want to say that use your lips to talk about the soundtrack of your dreams speak about it talk about it talk about it, talk about it now if you don't talk about your dreams you are missing an element it is crazy that there's a philosophy or there is a there's a concept in life that the more people try to push you down because you talk about it the more your dream will happen. And it happened here. It's a principle that happens in other places. I'll give you a second example shortly. The more you talk about your dreams, the more you talk about what you're going to do with your life, the more you talk about the great things you're going to do, the more people will hate you. But the more they hate you, the more your dream is likely to happen. I understand the place where you're supposed to hide the dream until the appointed time. You're supposed to hide the dream until the appointed time. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the, a time where you will speak the dream before it happens. So before, this is, let me lay the timeline for you. When you have the dream, you have to make noise about it. When the dream starts, you have to hide it until it is ready to be reviewed. You understand? So you have to make noise about it. You have to, when the dream is there, you have to make noise about it. I'm going to build the greatest church. And, and when the greatest church starts, you don't expose it until the time is right. But before you start, you have to brag about it. You have to, oh God, help me. You have to say that I'm going to be somebody influential. I'm going to be a blessing to many people. I'm going to be very important. You have to brag about all of that. When you start becoming important, then you begin to hide yourself 
until hallelujah if you don't believe me look at the bible the whole test the, the 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 whole old testament is bragging about a messiah but when the messiah was born they hid him in egypt do you see what i'm saying so when you are starting you have to hide it else the witches will come after it but write it down put a soundtrack to it let everybody know that this is what you want to become and don't be afraid Amen. So that's all I wanted to say to you. But before I go, I want to say that you are in a new year. Have a dream. Your life will become your dream. Your life will become your dream. And your dream will not happen overnight. But you will end up fulfilling your dream. So ha- most people, the reason I feel I have said is that most people want to change their lives. But your life doesn't change like that. Your life has to change towards your dream. And it will change gradually. You wouldn't wake up one day and everything has changed. No. That's how life works. So you just have a dream in front of you. And as the day goes by, you press towards it. You press towards it. And so because your dream is to become something great, daily ups and downs doesn't move you because you are gradually walking towards your dream. But if you don't have a dream... Then what happens is all you see is the 24 hours that you have. And so when it goes down, you are down. When it goes up, you are up. But if you have a dream, a bad day doesn't spoil the dream because the dream is bigger than the day. You follow? So have a dream big in front of you and let every day push you towards it gradually. Because every dream that is God-given will come to pass whether people like it or not. And so I want to let you understand, start talking about what you're going to become until you, people are annoyed by your soundtrack. You don't have a good soundtrack enough. Amen. Talk about what you're going to become. Be bold about it and declare it and believe God that my dreams will come to pass. What is your dream and what is the soundtrack of it? Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you. That you are the one that said, let us make man in our own image. And you said it before you did it. So we take upon your word and we say that we are going to fulfill the great works that you have called us. We will serve our generation. We will do greater things for you. In Jesus name. Amen.